Hey everyone, my name is Melody and thank you for clicking on this video. So here we are back at it again for another Buffalo Sabres jersey unboxing, unbagging, whatever. <laughs> now some of you may be thinking, Melody, again? Another Sabres jersey? What are you doing? And like I've told you in the past, I have a problem. I actually wasn't going to buy another Buffalo Sabres jersey for a while, but they were on sale. Sabres jerseys on Shop on Buffalo are like 40% off, and that like never happens for current Sabres. Usually they, you know, obviously reduce their prices on jerseys where the players have been traded or they left, whatever. But they were 40% off all jerseys, and that might never happen for a while. So naturally, I had to jump all over that. You guys might remember the first one I got was that custom one back there. That was the first Royal Blue jersey I got. And then I got a Taylor Hall and a Jack Eichel reverse retro jersey. But I'm a lot more confident in this one, so we'll just get right to it. So I got the white one, and for the whole time I was basically saying the white one is my favorite out of all of them, out of the, you know that one, the reverse retro jersey. I think the white jersey is like the nicest of all. I just like it's a lot more subtle with the striping, um, so I liked it a lot more, so I'm so excited to see it. I actually got a player this time, um, so comment below, tell me what player you think it is. Give me a prediction before uh, you see what actually happens. It's not Anders Bjork, but like, I might have been tempted. Seriously, can you believe how awesome he's been though, for real? Alright, here it is. Ooh. I can already see the white is such a good look. And there's that beautiful crest. So I think that the difference now with the Sabres jerseys is, like, the difference between the Fanatics, like, the replicas, and the Adidas authentic ones. Like, in years past, there wasn't huge differences between the replicas and the Authentics. Um, but nowadays with the crest, like, only the Authentics have, like, the cool buffalo hair crest on them, whereas the Fanatics don't have that. And the cool crest just looks so much better, but they're so much more expensive. But with the sale, I couldn't not do it. It was $100 off, and I'm pretty confident in this player. So, here it is. I'll try to... Oh, I'm looking at it at the back. <laughs> so nice. So here it is. So like I said, I like the striping a lot better on the white ones. Um, as you can see in the royal blue in the back, there's just like a lot more striping going on where the white one is a lot more subtle. But yeah. One thing I forgot to show in the original unbagging unboxing was this on the inside. Which is actually pretty cool. It's got the star and like the lightning bolt kind of look to it. That's um, shown on the Buffalo City flag. And it's just a really cool subtle touch that they put in there. Like, I honestly wish they would kind of use that more a little bit because I think it's really cool. But a very nice subtle touch. But anyways, hopefully by now you guys put your predictions in the comment section. So here's the reveal. Ba -ba -da -da! Dylan Cousins, number 24. I, I gotta say, like, the white is just such an amazing look. Like, I feel like the white jerseys more than uh, those royal blues kind of have more of, like, that old 70s feel. Um, but this is just such a clean look, and when I decided I had to go white, I decided it had to be Dylan Cousins. I mean, there's a lot to love about Dylan Cousins, a.k.a. the workhorse from White Horse, as they like to call him. But, I mean, for starters, like, there was that one game where he fought that dude, the Rangers game, and he actually put up a pretty good fight for, you know, a 20-year-old rookie. And it just seemed like he always gives so much effort, and, you know, that fight was just, like, when the team just seemed so lifeless and it just seemed like no one cared for him to do that, for him to try to fire up his team like that was so amazing. And now I think that, like, everyone who's playing you know, within Granado's system as opposed to Kruger's is just having a ton of success. I think Dylan Cousins has just looked absolutely incredible. Um, so hopefully, hopefully this one will get a lot of use out of me for a long time because I really just, I love everything this kid brings. I love his attitude, I love his work ethic, I love everything about him. So I guess we'll officially try it on. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> that looks so good, so classic. Oh for sure. I love this. I love too, I think, I love the way the logo, like with the, the way the crest is and with the way the buffalo hair is. I like how it kind of shines. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it, I just think <laughs> it just makes the logo pop and it looks so cool. But yeah, there you go. There's the white Dylan Cousins, a Jason Botterill draft pick. Come to think of it, Jason Botterill made three first round draft picks. Casey Middlestad, who's looking a hell of a lot better, Rasmus Dahlin, and Dylan Cousins. So we had a lot bad to say about Jason Bottrell, but those three picks might not turn out to be so bad. Anyways, there you have it. Thank you to the Buffalo Sabres for having a sale and feeding into my jersey problem. Maybe one of these days I'll do like a full, you know, showing of my entire Sabres jersey collection. There's a lot. <laughs> but let me know if you want to see that in the future. 
maybe I'll do that as the season kind of gets close to the end. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know which one you like better, the white or the royal blue. Personally, I think the white looks incredible. But yeah, let me know. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you soon. Go Bills. Go Sabres. Bye, guys.